Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my natural hair wash day tips for length retention. So if you're experiencing hair loss or breakage or you have a specific hair growth goal that you're working towards, this is the video for you. As you may know I have experienced hair loss in the past and I'm extremely careful with the way I treat my hair these days and I've made a few slight changes to my wash day routine using some of my old tips and mixing it with the new. So let's get straight into it. The first step is pre-pooing. The worst thing that I could possibly do during my wash day is shampoo my hair while it's already matted. This is going to cause even more tangles which will cause even more hair fall and hair loss and when you're already experiencing hair loss and hair fall this is the last thing that you want to happen and so i either pre-poo out of the shower or in the shower to be honest i do most of my wash days out of the shower i just find it easier with my day-to-day -day life i don't have time to stand in the shower for an hour usually <laughs> but i do like to record my wash days for you guys in shower so the first thing I want to do is to part my hair off into manageable sections. So I saturate my hair with water. Do not try to part your hair in a dry state because this will cause more breakage, more hair fall. So once my hair is fully saturated, I go in with a conditioner, any conditioner, doesn't matter, or a moisturizer if you want to. I usually use any conditioner that I don't really like. <laughs> and I just apply that in two big sections. Before I go in with a comb or a brush, I finger detangle first. So depending on how tangled my hair is, I don't need to use a comb or a brush in the pre-pre routine. And yeah, so I just go in with my fingers and detangle thoroughly from root to tip until I can no longer feel any tangles in my hair. I know that it's not thoroughly detangled at this point, but as long as you're not shampooing while your hair is matted, that's all that matters. So once I'm finished detangling one side, I just twist it back up so it doesn't tangle again. And then I do the same on the other side. Usually I would just go in the shower and wash that out straight away. But today I'm using this elasticizer, elasticizer from Philip and Kingsley, I believe it's called. I got this in one of my treasure chest boxes. So this product instructs you to leave it in for 20 minutes, but I only did about 10 minutes. I don't usually leave my poo-poo in at all. I just, as I said, go straight in the shower and wash it out. But I did actually see a difference when I used this. I don't know whether it just coated my hair in product, <laughs> but it made my hair feel really, really soft and it did actually feel more bouncy, which is a good sign for elasticity. Can't say that word. <laughs> so yeah, that's the pre poo step done. So the next step is shampooing, specifically washing, rinsing and repeating, which means I like to wash my hair twice to get a really good clean. And on my first wash, I really focused on getting that scalp super clean. I know a lot of people are scared of shampoo or they used to be scared of shampoo and only used to do co-washing but shampoo is definitely important for hair growth and length retention and hair loss, hair fall, all of that. Hair grows in a healthy and clean scalp environment and this is why I discourage co-washing. Co-washing has its place but it's not here. <laughs> You really need to make sure that you wash your scalp thoroughly to prevent any hair loss from like infected hair follicles from too much product on your scalp and to encourage healthy hair growth. I like to keep my scalp free from any products and even oils. I do oil my scalp during the week but during my wash day I don't add anything to my scalp other than shampoo. Yeah so I just like to keep my hair follicles clear and free for my hair to be able to grow. So on the second wash, I'm now focusing on the shaft of my hair. So I apply the shampoo to the roots first to get a good lava and to remove any oils or buildup that may have been missed the first time. And then I'll take the shampoo down the shaft of my hair so that the rest of my hair can also be free from product buildup. So now whatever product I put on my hair will be able to penetrate better instead of placing more products on the buildup of product from the previous wash day that wasn't removed properly. And that will affect the outcome of your styles as well. If there's too much product buildup on your hair, it's not going to make the products work the way they should. Your hair may not be as shiny as it could be. And for me anyway, I like to use a lot of thick products as well. So I definitely need that shampoo to go all the way down my hair shaft. In regards to what shampoos I use, I'll say any that isn't going to be damaging to your hair 
so watch out for harsh sulfates and if you're trying a new shampoo out for the first time and after the first wash your hair feels stripped or too clean already don't go in for a second wash or just wash the shaft and not wash the roots again because that can also cause breakage from the roots if you use the shampoo that's too harsh and as i mentioned before with the clean healthy scalp environment if you don't have a clean and healthy scalp your hair can tend to fall from the root so if you're finding that your scalp is irritated or itchy before wash day and you don't clean your scalp well and you leave product on your scalp and it gets itchy again and you're scratching that can cause hair loss from the follicle itself so you gotta be careful with that if your hair feels itchy don't think that an oil will solve the problem sometimes it can actually make it itch more that happens to me so whenever my scalp feels itchy i know it's time <laughs> i've got to wash my hair so the next step is to deep condition and may i add weekly so once my hair is nice and clean i go in with my deep conditioner it's important to deep condition on clean hair so that the deep conditioner can penetrate the hair strands properly and be able to do what it's supposed to do and i said weekly for a reason some people question whether they should be deep conditioning weekly and i can say that i have deep conditioned every week since i've been wearing my hair curly and i personally don't think a conditioner is enough with kinky coily curly hair our hair goes through a lot during the week just from styling alone and everyday environments like the sun or the cold is getting rubbed up on clothes it's getting rubbed up on any surface that it comes in contact with so we have to make sure we are conditioning our hair inside and out so i start by sectioning my hair again usually in two big sections again just to get the product on because i want the deep conditioner to be on all of my hair for the same amount of time instead of going in by section by section applying a product detangling and then moving on to a section this way as i said all the hair gets the same treatment time and if your hair is thicker i do recommend working in smaller sections but my hair is a lot more manageable now so i'm able to apply the product in two big sections i definitely did have to apply the product in four sections before when my hair was thicker so once all the product is in my hair i start to finger detangle and i find that interlocking my fingers is the gentlest method to do this and then I begin to break up the big old tangles at the roots. And I do this by simply going in at the roots and parting off my hair section by section. Taking care to unravel the bigger knots gently when I do come across them. Either by wiggling my fingers or literally detangling strand by strand. Like there's no strand left behind in this, <laughs> this detangling session. And then once that's done, I continue to finger detangle until I can feel hardly any knots. Sometimes I don't need to use a comb or a brush after this, but most of the time I do follow up with them afterwards, which is what I will be doing today. So I'm starting with the wide tooth comb first, combing from the ends to the roots, and then I follow up with the brush. And I do take smaller sections if I need to. This is one change that I have made in my wash day routines because I do feel like using a brush, like any brush, is just too harsh for wet hair. Because as you know, the hair is at its weakest point when it's wet, so you don't really want to be going in with any harsh detangling tools. Even though the Tangle Teaser works great on my hair and even the Easy Detangler works great on my hair, I just feel like I can get through these knots more gentle with the wide tooth comb. So yeah the wide tooth comb is back <laughs> and this one i got from my treasure chest box as well it's a pattern wide tooth comb it's really lightweight and really small it's able to like get to my roots without snagging like the other sections it's not too big or clumsy and that's another thing that i do want to point out is that you have to be careful when combing the roots towards like the other sections like you don't want to snag on the other sections because you're going to cause breakage in the middle part of your hair so yeah i like to use a wide tooth comb first because it's more gentle on my hair and then i use the brush to comb through the smaller tangles i try to use a brush as minimally as possible during my wash day routines like this is the only time that i use a brush throughout my whole routine i don't use a brush when styling i don't use it in my pre-poo routine unless i have to um but yeah so once i'm done with each section i twist it up and then move on to the other sections you can use any detangling tool that works well for your hair as i mentioned i recommend the easy detangler and the tangle teaser those are my two favorite brushes yeah so i twist my hair up put it up in a crocodile clip put my shower cap on and just leave that to sit on for 30 minutes 10 to 15 minutes if i'm in shower 
And as for the deep conditioner, I would usually follow the instructions on the back of the packaging for how much time I allow it to sit on my hair, which is usually about half an hour or 10 to 15 minutes if I'm in the shower. And that's the reason why I like to deep condition my hair when I'm out of the shower, because I'm able to leave it on for what 20, 30 minutes, add steam or add heat to it if I wanted to, instead of just leaving it on for a short amount of time while I wash my body. So I recommend if you are doing an in-shower wash day, is to apply your deep conditioner, wash your body and get out of the shower and just leave it to sit on your hair for a longer time. I do think 30 minutes is sufficient, but sometimes I run errands or do chores while I have my deep conditioner on my hair. That's what I do most times off camera. I wash my hair out of the shower. I just find it easier for me and my lifestyle with being a busy mum of two. But yeah, I'll alternate between a restorative or protein mask and a moisturising mask. So I do a protein deep conditioner one week and then a moisturising one the following week. But if you're protein sensitive or you realise that protein makes your hair drier, then lay off the protein mask and just do it once a month instead. And my final tip is to use a conditioner. So once I've washed the deep conditioner out, I apply the conditioner in two big sections again, and I'm just raking the product through my hair. And as you can see, I took my hair down while I washed that deep conditioner out because I don't like to leave my hair in twist when I'm washing out my deep conditioner because I need to make sure I get all of that deep conditioner off my hair and especially off my scalp. You definitely don't want to be leaving any deep condition on your hair because it's just going to make your hair feel dry. And if you do leave any residue on your scalp, it's going to flake and it's going to itch. So just make sure you wash your deep conditioner out thoroughly. So once all the deep conditioner is out, I apply my conditioner liberally all over my hair in two big sections. Again, if you have thicker hair, you're going to need to do smaller sections. And also, again, I do like to apply the conditioner to both sections of my hair first before I go in with my wide tooth comb because I want both sides of my hair to have the product in for the same amount of time. So once all the conditioner is in, I just take my wide tooth comb and I just comb that through. That should be detangled anyway from your deep conditioning. I do find that with my in-shower routine, my hair tangles less between each step because it's just hanging. Whereas if you're putting your head over into the tub, it will tangle more between each step. So once I have all the conditioner in my hair, I twist each section up and I leave that on for about five minutes. So some people may say this is a wasted step and I actually stopped using conditioner for a while myself because essentially a leaving conditioner should do the same job and a deep conditioner should do enough conditioning, right? But I've gone back to using a conditioner because it focuses on the outer layer of your hair rather than the deeper layers like a deep conditioner. And that's going to provide your hair with shine and moisture, which is going to help with frizz and manageability, which results in less breakage and more hair growth. So the deep conditioner conditions deep within the hair shaft, whereas a conditioner works on the outer layer of the hair shaft. So usually I do like to part my hair off into four sections when I'm applying my conditioner because I do usually just wash my hair out with a twist in so that my hair is already in the sections when I'm ready to apply my styling products. But today and in most videos, I do take the twist down and wash out the conditioner thoroughly. Again, making sure that there's no conditioner left on my scalp. And lastly, I rinse off with cool water to close the cuticles on my hair which helps to tame frizz. And then I use my microfiber towel and follow on to style straight away. Or if I'm in shower, I just add my leave-in conditioner straight away. <laughs> so as for styling, I've gone back to do my wash and goes and my twist. My very first video was a twist video and that's exactly what I did to get my hair to waist length. But I do love wearing my wash and go so I'm trying to balance it out <laughs> by wearing my hair out and wearing a protective style interchangeably so with this routine and the styles that I've been wearing my hair has been flourishing and growing and I've fallen in love with my hair all over again and it's such a big difference to what I was feeling like last year honestly like experiencing hair loss and breakage it's not a nice thing to go through so I hear you i feel you i'm right there with you <laughs> you know so if i can help in any way sharing my tips with you guys i'm happy i'm happy to do that so yeah that's all the tips i have for you today i will be doing some more tips on my styling process and how i achieve great results every time no matter what product i use 
so yeah if you want to see more from me make sure you're subscribed to my channel and click that notification bell on so you get notified when my videos come out and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye